Okay, I am here with my fireplace makeover. This is the beginning. Uh, we just moved some of the furniture out because I'm just going to cover the sofas and I'm going to try and take off the existing mantle that was there. We did that about a year ago and it was tough because I've never really worked with trim before. So it didn't turn out the way. I mean, the mantle worked for the time we had. That definitely looks better than what was there before. But if you look up close, I should probably show you actually. All right, so if you look up close, you can see um, like over here. We have the wires hanging down from the TV, so I'd like to put something up top so we can hide the wires. And then here's the best part. <laughs> this down here is actually a piece of paper, actually, plywood that I covered, that we already had in the house, and I just covered it with this marble paper that rolls out. And I think I got the paper from Home Depot. Um, but it doesn't match like the white at all. This is very like cool tone, and this is, I guess, warmer tone. So like a yellow undertone to it and this has like a blue undertone so you can see like the plywood right here and underneath is the concrete so um that was like my quick fix for that i just cut it to size and then put that on top because i hadn't done tiling yet and i wanted to be able to tile i knew i knew i had tiling that i was going to do so I wanted to practice tiling so that I would be able to do the fireplace around and the ground and I wanted to figure out what type of tile I wanted because I didn't want to have to redo it again. Like I wanted to stay, I wanted to look traditional, I wanted it to be something we can just keep. So this is our before. people day two that light is not good um my cards are all full and I can't seem to get anything transferred over to the network so Keith has to do that when he comes home I've been working all day and I haven't gotten very far I had some problems uh, I have a Ryobi saw and it's 
uh, it's just not powerful enough to rip a piece of wood. So I wasn't able to rip my two by four. So I ended up having to stack, um, what are they called? Furring strips. I had to stack furring strips. It's a mess behind me in order to get this done. I will show you. Hold on. It's probably better looking at the fireplace than me anyway, right about now. So what I had to do was I had to use the hammer drill to drill into the um, brick. I actually, as you can see, tried to put the two by four up first and then I decided that it was too thick and I couldn't get my measurements right for some reason because I have this smearing one here, which I didn't think about it, but it sets off. The problem is that we have this like stair stepper of a fireplace. So in order not to have it come like all the way out on the entire thing, I'm gonna have to do the top part will stick out. So you can see it sticks out about like, I guess that's almost three inches. It's probably not, it's probably like two and a half inches, maybe two and a quarter. And then um, I'm gonna put right here it won't stick out as far it'll actually be set back a little bit but it'll be fine because the way the trim there's some mantles that are done that way from the ones that i looked at online and i was able to avoid this one because once i put the mdf up here i will put the what's the trim called that goes around the ceiling it's called something and i don't know what it's called of course anyway i'll put the decorative trim that's like sits out diagonally like this on that piece so Here's the MDF, this is all cut, and this will, here's another problem, doing things by yourself, like trying to hold something and screw it or hold something and do anything is like virtually impossible. My dad does it all the time and I don't know how he does it, so. Okay, you can't see. I don't know if you can see, hold on. Okay, so as you can see, the MDF goes across to the front now my battery's gonna die. MDF goes all the way across the front. This is gonna be really bad video footage because my I can't just set up my camera on a tripod. And it covers all of that. And then I'll put a piece of trim underneath the MDF. I'll put a piece of uh, trim on the top and on each side. And that'll butt up to the pieces that are on the side. So this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna attach the MDF, but I just wanted to show like the under parts of the MDF because once it's up, you won't be able to see what I did under there. All right, let's hope I can get some more done because it's getting dark out already. All right, here we go. Day 175 of mantle construction. Right now we're trying to find a place to put a hole for, well we 
we've made holes. I guess we found places to put holes. We're trying to figure out where to put the outlet and how to get it there. So we have cinder block walls and then we have plaster. And I guess there's wood behind the plaster that the plaster is attached to. Furring like furring strips. So not really two by four. It's not really like framed out. It's just, or I guess it is still framed out. Anyway, it's just thinner pieces of wood. So we're just trying to figure out where to drop the wire down to this outlet down here so that it goes up behind the TV. Oh shoot, I have the thing the wrong way. What? So, you have the channel through here, run it through here. What do you do, you just screw through there, like drill a hole? Probably. Through like, the wood piece? Yeah, probably like a chisel or saw and cut it out. <laughs> then channel through here, put some metal, like, to cover it up so it doesn't get nail or screw through it. right there where the holes are so that I have a plug for the TV box. Come on. No. Hey. And then uh, this will all be covered by this piece right here. And I'm getting ready to do the tile. I just scraped off all the little pieces that were sticking up and going to lay down some mortar first so I can level it and then I am going to let that set. I'm going to prime it while it's setting and then um, get ready to tile. Woo! the tile. It was a tough process, but I'm pretty happy with it. You know, the ground lines look pretty good, by the way. And the tile is down. Cut it off. I had to go to Robbie's to cut it because I didn't have a big tile cutter. You probably can't hear me because the music in the background.
dancing behind. 